Yo guys, what is up, this is Nick. We are back on Halo Wars 2, and today we're going to be going over my deck for Atriox. Now, this is one of the decks that I play probably the least. I, like I've already shown, Decimus is my favorite character. I feel like Shipmaster has the best deck. Cutter has the worst. Isabelle's has its unique, unique characteristics. And I like Professor Anders. I like her uh, Sentinel unit, so I do use her a little bit of the time, but most of my time is spent as Decimus or Shipmaster. But let's get into this with Atriox. Uh, we'll hop into this deck, and we're going to build it from scratch like we did the last time. Uh, we'll start with these starting units. We have the Warlord, and we have Bulletproof. Um, I go with uh, Warlord, the two Banshees, and the... I believe that's a Marauder. Uh, so... Marauders are really good to begin with, and then the Banshees allow you to fly around and capture points and just be just be a general nuisance, uh, which is kind of how I like to play this deck. A little bit spammy and a little bit nuisance. Uh, so first of all, we're going to throw the first card in, and that is going to be the Grunts. Um, I like them. They're kind of spammy. They're not the greatest, but with the Grunts, they do have nice... Um, they, they have a decent weakness with vehicles. That's fine. Uh, the infantry and air are nice, um, and so that's why I throw them in. They're cheap, they're easy to spawn, and you can fly a Banshee somewhere, drop a Grunts unit, and then move on. Uh, stuff like that. Really easy. Uh, that's why I like it in this deck. Next, we are going to throw in the Chopper. Another cheap unit, and another one for kind of collecting or flying or moving around like the Banshees. Uh, the it's real disposable, doesn't matter. Uh, definitely, you can just get rid of it if, it if it comes to it. Like, it's not a big deal if this chopper dies. It's not like a Marauder where it's 70 energy or a Terror Chopper, something like that. Something expensive. Uh, next, we are going to put in the Jump Pack Brutes. Now, the Jump Pack Brutes, they aren't my favorite, but for 20 energy, they're pretty cheap, and the Jump Strike leaks forward and smashes the ground, damaging and stunning nearby enemies is decent. You can use it for... It's situational, but it can work. Um, and the anti-building, if you run into someone who's using the Watchtower, Shock Sentries, there's not too many buildings that I've seen. Uh, these come more into play in the regular game, uh, in the base Halo Wars, not uh, Blitz mode, but they are pretty good in this, and I enjoy uh, using them. They're another kind of spammy unit. Uh, these first... The first three, I don't use Hunters in this deck, so these first four units, I guess, are more spammy. They're not really about, I don't really care how much damage they deal. They're more spammy, they're more scout, they're more energy collectors, stuff like that. Um, and so next, obviously, is the Elite Rangers. Anti-infantry, weak against vehicles and air. Um, this unit also detects and reveals nearby cloaked enemies, which is huge. Um... There actually have been some strategies. I might do a video on it or talk about it deck-wise with inv invisibility. It's really powerful early game, um, and especially if your opponents don't counter it early enough, it can be devastating for them. Uh, and so that's important to have. It's the detect, and it's a cheap detect. Uh, we don't put any hunters in this deck. I like the hunters. Uh, they're bulky. They do have their uses and their purposes, but they don't fit in this deck. Now, obviously the, ne oops, obviously, the next things in the deck are my two sets of Locust. Uh, the regular Locust, as well as the Blood Fueled. The Blood Fueled, obviously, the more important unit. Uh, but the regular Locust are really good. I have no problem with the regular Locust. Uh, obviously, have the Shield. This unit has Energy Shield Protection that absorbs the damage and regenerates when out of combat. Uh, both of them have it, as well as Blood Fueled Locust with Siphon. Uh, this unit has special weaponry that steals health from its enemies equal to the damage dealt. Obviously, a really op it's it's overpowered right now. The Bloodfield Locust is the most overpowered card in the game because of the stealing of health as well as the distance that you can be away to hit enemies. Uh, it is just an OP card at this point in the game. Now, next, I have to have my healing units. Uh, one of my favorite things in the game is have, making sure I have a healing unit, and that is the Engineer who also comes equipped with Detect. 
uh, so he can see cloaked enemies. And then overshield casts a temporary shield to protect nearby allies. I am horrible at using that. Horrible, but... It's a really nice special ability, so make sure and try to remember to use it. I'm horrible at it, so don't feel bad if you forget and uh, and don't ever use it. Because I don't think in... I have a bunch of gameplay saved up, and I don't think in any of them I remember to use that overshield. Some of my friends do, but I am horrible at it. So that is it for the first page. We do not use Hunters or Banshees in this, in this deck, as well as no Scorched Mines. So moving on to page 2. Here is where we get our Hunter Exposure, and we're going to be using the Ironclad Hunters. Uh, Guard is its special ability. This unit covers nearby allies, receiving all damage they would normally take. Now, this... This is a... It's a pro and a con. Um, like, sometimes I want to put my Hunters down, and I want them to attack a vehicle, but I don't want them to absorb all the hits, so... It's kind of a give and take there. It's not. It's an ability that's good, but it's also an ability that's bad and can hurt you at times. So you need to keep that in mind when you drop them. But I've had good experience with the Ironclad Hunters, so I keep them in my deck. Uh, next is we're going to go ahead and put in the two... Um, I guess... I don't know what to call them. Like, like uh, I guess, power cards. Uh, we're going to be using... Uh, Atriox Bulwark and Eradication. Uh, so Atriox Bulwark uh, briefly makes target allies invulnerable and heal them over time. Really helpful as a support role, which I love to play, and really helpful for when you push onto a point near the end of the game after you've collected your energy to make something, a group of um, invincible, usually your front line, because your locusts are usually in the back spraying. Uh, so usually your frontline troops will get, I'll drop this on them, and it uh, will buy us at least some time, extra time with them on the field. Uh, Eradication, I watched someone play with this and they were really deadly with it. I'm still trying to hone my abilities with Eradication, I'm still a little sloppy, uh, and really don't know the precise times I need to call it in, but it deals massive damage at target area with a ring of plasma beams. Um... I believe it calls down six plasma beams, and then they kind of spiral into a circle. Uh, so you really end up hitting one enemy. So you want to make sure the center of your circle is on top of the main enemy you want to kill. Uh, I'm still honing it. I'm still trying to get better with the eradication, but it is a really powerful uh, card. Now, one of the cards that used to be in this deck that's not in it anymore is the Enduring Blisterback. Um, I love this card. And I like how it works, and I love the deploy, but I feel like it doesn't do enough damage for the 160 energy that I pay to put it down. Um, and I feel like I spend way too much time messing with deploying it because I like them deployed. Uh, so I think I just spend way too much time messing around with that. So I've decided to go with the two high-priced options, which are Atriox Chosen, which has shock. This unit intimidates nearby enemy troops, significant, significantly reducing their armor. And then shield, this unit has energy shield protection that absorbs the damage and regenerates when out of combat. Um, he's somewhere between, like, I think Douglas is the worst with my experience. Du I don't have all of these special units unlocked, but out of the ones I've used, I probably ranked Douglas last, then Atriox Chosen, and then Royal Guard, or Honor Guard. Honor Guard has done beastly for me. I have a bunch of gameplay with Honor Guard. Uh, so I'll probably, probably title one of them Honor Guard. There's one gameplay where I put down like five Honor Guards and just wreak havoc. Uh, so that'll probably, I'll probably make that like its own separate thing and talk about Honor Guards in that video. But I'll also talk about Honor Guards in the Shipmaster video, but we'll get into those. But I'm talking about Atriox Chosen. It is a good card. Um, it's situational for me. I don't always put it down because I'm also using Scarab Assault, so... Both of these are kind of situational, depending on how the duel or how the how the battle is going. Uh, if I'm in like a one-on-one -on -one duel with someone on a point, I definitely go for Atriox Chosen over the Scarab Assault. Uh, it saves me a little money, and um, I've just I've just found that the hero unit uh, for Atriox Chosen is better in like a one-on-one -on -one fight at a point, opposed to like a massive cluster of like a three-on-three -three brawl at B. Uh, that's when the Scarab is more is the better choice in my opinion that's that's kind of what i've found here uh but guys that's the deck uh we've got grunts choppers 
Jump Pack Brutes, Elite Rangers, Locust, Engineer, Bloodfield Locust, uh, Atriox, oh wait, Ironclad Hunters, Atriox Bulwark, uh, Eradication, Atriox Chosen, and Scarab Assault with the Warlord Starting Army. So that is going to do it for the Atriox uh, deck profile uh, coming out here probably later today will be uh, some gameplay using an Atriox deck and showing you kind of how I play with it and I'll explain more in that video, go a little bit more in depth about what I was thinking. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop the video a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.